Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to the new video. I'm the Casual Racing Gamer. Today we hopping into GT7 PSVR2 and I unlocked the online gameplay. I haven't played it yet. This is going to be my first time checking it out. I'm excited because to me, this is the meat and potatoes of a racing game online gameplay racing against real players real time not you know not ai not not you know you never know how ai is going to act and how good the ai is in a game but when you're racing against real players you get real challenges and this this is what the replay value of a racing game is all about so we're going to actually check out um we're going to hop into some racing hopefully you can hop into some racing like i said i haven't tried it out yet but but i do want to say something so you know talking about like pc vr and people say you know what iRacing is a subscription-based service and things like that, and you you know you got to pay for it. Well, one thing I found out with GT Seven, and, and to me, you know, I didn't have PlayStation Plus, um, but you kind of need PlayStation Plus to play online play in GT Seven, and to me, that kind of makes it a subscription based service as well. So let's just get that out of the way. You do need PlayStation Plus to play online. I did try entering into some races, and it didn't let me until I purchased PlayStation Plus. So now I purchased PlayStation Plus, but again, you know. That makes it kind of a subscription-based service. Of course, if you use it for other things, that's great. But, you know, if we're just using it for a racing game, and right now that's what I'm going to be using it for um, because I don't use anything else on PlayStation Plus. So, you know, online play to me became um, a subscription-based service. Not bad, though. It was like 60 bucks for the year, I think. So um, just keep that in mind. Um, so it's just another, you know, another thing you'll need to pay for if you don't already pay for it for something else for your PlayStation. A lot of people probably already own it. So you're good there if you want online play. So if you guys enjoy the content, um, definitely appreciate it. If you subscribe, click the like button if you enjoy the video and, you know, leave comments below any tips, tricks for online stuff. Um, like I said, I'm just hopping into it first time. So I'm sure I'm not going to be able to see everything that's going on. I'm sure there's going to be more things to do and you guys can leave tips and I read all your comments and a lot of other people read your comments as well. So you're not just helping me, you're helping out a lot of other people. So um, yeah, let's hop into it. I'm excited guys. Let's go. So one thing I did notice there, there's two different online here. There's sport, which looks like it's online play from the actual game itself. And then there's multiplayer, which looks like there's um, races set up from, from other players. So just to show you what sport's about, let's just hop into this and take a look. So sport mode is a mode which you can enjoy official online races and time trials. There's daily races held every day, championships where you earn points, aim for the top rankings. Um, sport mode's racing system ensures that you race against drivers with equal skill levels, which is cool. So you'll be, you know, driving against people that, you know, drive as good or bad as you. Improve your ratings, daily races, rack up championship points. Um, the DR is, is, you know, your driver rating. There are seven ratings, E, D, C, B, A, and A plus and S performing well in sport races will improve your driver rating. Your driver rating is restricted by your SR. Your driver rating cannot improve unless you also improve your SR. A driver rating of S indicates star player drivers who meet the entry conditions for championships can become registered as star players. So this, this is all really cool on um, that. They do have this stuff and, and they do have a cool online mode. Um, hopefully there's a lot of action. There's a lot of players involved because obviously, you know, the community is what's going to make up online play, um, sportsmanship, your SR rating indicates behavior while racing. So dangerous actions, colliding and things like that. Clean, you drive the more your SR. So, so kind, kind of the same, you know, kind of same idea as we get in iRacing, um, improve your ratings in daily races. So we got, you know, different types of races and things. And then um, enter regular health tournaments, burn points and stuff like that. The higher your DR, the more points you can earn. Um, so, so, Def, definitely really cool stuff here. Compete in leagues with your online skill. Championship use league system. Divided into three leagues. GT1, GT2, GT3. Matchmaking championship point rankings are determined separately for each league. Your DR at the start of the season determines leagues in which you can compete. And once your league has been decided, you will compete in that league until the end of the season. And of course, they mentioned, um, you know, be good with sportsmanlike conduct and things like that. So, you know, kind of know how to drive. Know your line. Don't try to wreck people, which I'm glad they actually have a thing like this set up so people don't, you know, just wreck and drive carelessly just just because they can so I, I i do appreciate that they that they do have this in this um many events in sport modes impose pit lane cutting penalties make sure you don't cross the white line and enter and exiting so th this to me is this is really awesome actually that they have this whole thing set up i was not expecting an online gameplay like this where they actually have ratings and safety ratings and and levels and, and matching up you know with your level of drivers so that that is cool um we have some online thing here and then the daily races here and you know, it tells you what time the next race is starting. So we have a couple of different races at a couple of different tracks. 
Um, you can, if you don't have the card to actually go into it, I did a couple of time trials. I wasn't able to race because I didn't have PlayStation Plus, but now I was able to, you know, grab PlayStation Plus so we can actually do it. See, there's three different races here, 520, 530, and this one's also at 530. Um, it tells you how many laps, how many number of cars. It doesn't show you if there's already people registered. So I don't know if there's multiple races that have 12 cars. I'm assuming there's going to be multiple um, heats, um, you know, with different levels of, of drivers, but it doesn't really show you. Um, this is a three lap race, five lap race and a 10 lap race. So there's, there's a 15 minute, 15 minute and 25 minute thing here. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe I should, maybe I'll, I'll join this one. Um, if, if we're still here, if you have the car, we don't have a car to enter in here. So what you can do is, you know, we have no cars that are compliant. So what you can do is you can rent, rent the car. Um, but it's not going to show you here because the entry, entry period doesn't start yet. But if you did like a time trial, it actually shows you, you can actually grab any one of these cars. So that's really cool that we don't need to own all of these cars. So you can just hop into online racing and grab these cars. So that's a big thumbs up. I didn't know if you needed to like actually own, win the cars in the actual game itself before you can actually race in these, which um, that's not the case. So, you know, to me that gets, that get that gets a big thumbs up right there. And obviously the race is in sport mode, you know, once they, 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 they finish, you'll have new um, races set up, but um, this is the regular multiplayer. So you can do a two player battle, but you can also join a lobby here. So let's join a lobby and see if we can actually um, hop into one of these. I'm not sure at all how these actually work. So you can create your own room or you can, um, there, there's, there's things that say free run practice race. It tells you how many players are in each lobby here. Um, there's obviously a bunch of different, there's actually 44 pages of stuff going on. All right. How about, how about Daytona? It says practice race. Let's join the room. Um, let's see what, what's going to happen. What's, what's going on here. So, um, practice is currently taking place. You can either go on the track or enter the race. Um, so, uh, let, um, uh, let's see what happens here. Let's see if we just go enter entry accepted. You will enter the course when the event starts. Is there a countdown to when the race actually starts? I don't know if the person who actually um, is the lead of this lobby would be the one to start. So we can um, spectate. Um, I'm curious what car. So it, it's showing me that my car is my regular car that I own. Um, it doesn't look like I'm going to have a fair battle here with these <laughs> with these other cars. But what happens if I go enter course? All right, it's kind of just taking me out here. I don't know if this is this is a practice lap or we're just actually joining a race already in progress. But um, we're at Daytona. Here we go. I don't even know they had Daytona here. All right, here we go. We're driving. A, we're driving a Porsche at Daytona. All right, really cool. I wasn't expecting to see Daytona here. Like actual the, the Daytona Oval track. Not the car I think I'd be racing here either but um I, I don't know if this is I don't know if this is official race or this is like a practice or what's going on I don't I don't know how this actually happens but we, we are on we are on the track here um that guy's driving a little crazy uh, I'm assuming this is a practice I don't know how the actual race actually starts these cars are like crashing into the these guys are just like crashing into the wall. It's pretty funny. They do have some sparks flying. You do see sparks. So I don't I don't know what these guys are doing. We're gonna end up hitting them. Alright, let's um This is definitely not not a race. This is definitely not a race. But we we are entered. So I I I, I, I don't know what's happening. So I, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter this this um we're gonna enter this race here that starting soon because I don't know what that multiplayer online is. If you guys can let me know, um, let, let me know what that's about. If that, you know, obviously I'll be trying it out again, but I don't know what it's like with racing. And, and I feel like if you could, everyone can just use a different car, it kind of makes the race a little unfair. So I don't know if that's locked down to a specific cars that you can run or not. But obviously what you saw there was not, was not, um, was not, was not that good, but we're going to, we're going to have to rent a car here. So let's, let's see what we're going to, let's see what we're going to drive. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go with the we're gonna go with the we're gonna go with the Lamborghini. Let's let's pick the Lamborghini. 
So we entered into the race. Um, the race starts at eight minutes. So we'll actually, we'll jump to the race, but let's do a qualifying. Let's just see what the track is. I don't know the track. I'm obviously not going to run it well. Um, so, you know, take that into consideration. We're just going to try to want to run, run a little bit safe here, but we got to run, we got to drive a fast car, which I'm excited about. We got to drive a fast car, but not familiar with the track. And uh, I already lost control, so that that wasn't that wasn't that wasn't a good start. But luckily, we can retry and run a, run a little bit of practice before we before we actually hop into um, some real racing here. So let's just take take a little spin around the track. Finally, get to drive something a little faster than than we've had before. And um, we in the Lambo GT a three. Car looks nice, dash looks nice, everything looks good. We're gonna get a little bit comfortable in here. See if we can see how the car handles. Hopefully not wreck ourselves and others. Wow, all right, this 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 is a little uh, a little less uh, unforgiving than that I've been feeling with a lot of these other cars that I've been that I've been driving. Definitely a little less unforgiving. I'm excited. Hopefully, hopefully we can fill a whole uh, a whole field of cars in this race. Plus, I'm really not a road course driver. It's just something I'm really getting into more now. Um, you know, I've always done oval racing, but I, I am definitely enjoying learning how to do um, road tracks and things like that. Okay, here it goes. It looks like we we got we got a nice amount of cars here. We we got preparing the race, connecting, connecting to other players. We got one, two, three. Is there a number? No, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen cars filling up. Sixteen cars filling up. Where am I? I am there back in I'm almost towards the end. That's okay. I was because I was the last qualifying at a 129. Top was 120. I didn't really run a good qualify. We do have a warm-up period. Okay, we have a warm-up period. Um Wonder how long the warm-up period is. Do we see a time on there for the warm-up period? I don't know, but I don't know. Let's what's can we warm up? We can warm up. Let's warm up. Alright, so this is this is taking you out by by the computer. We don't have control of the car yet. Once we now we have control of the car. I think we're gonna really have to just worry about driving safe. I'm not sure how good these other you know, drivers are going to be. They're definitely going to probably be better than me. But this is just a warm-up period. Let's see if we can catch them. See if we can catch them here. I don't know why the, they ghosted, they, they wrecked, they ghosted themselves, but now they're back. All right, I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to find out. It looks like the warm-up period is over. We are going to get started. We'll see how this... Here we go, online, baby. I'm excited. I'm excited. We got we got 12. We got 12 cars on the grid. Um, three seconds, we're getting in one, and... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hopefully everyone is bad. Well, everyone's not definitely not going to be as bad as me. Everyone's not going to be as bad as me. Top Top time score was like 120. So I got the best, uh, I got the worst. I got the worst score here. So is it gonna be like a standstill start? How are we gonna start? Rolling start? Okay, rolling start. We got five laps. I'm 12 out of 14. This is great. We got 14 cars in the race. I'm excited. This is awesome. I'm excited. This just brought this whole game up like another level to me. Knowing that there's like ratings and, and, and safety ratings and racing ratings and, and everything. Just, just brought it up. You don't need to win all these cars. You can just use them. They say rent them for the race. So lots of options with different cars. Yeah, thumbs up. Thumbs up for GT7. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We don't want to wreck yet. We don't want to wreck yet. I don't know what happened there. I don't know what's going... I have side mirrors in this car. I don't have anything to see behind me. Car's taking it wide. No. Oh, don't lose it here. No, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. That wasn't good. Oh, that was terrible. We are we already lost it on the first turn. All right, let's see if we can catch them. That was not what I wanted to do. 
we, we were good on the start. We were good on the start, and now we lost them. Oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. I don't want to lose them yet. I wanted them to have to, you know, drive away. I, I wanted them to beat me. I didn't want to beat myself. There we go. We saved that one. Oh, I'm so upset. I'm so upset. I really wanted to hang with them as best as I could. And I, I think we could have if we didn't spin out there. All right, there's some cars in sight. There's some cars. We're in 10 out of 12. So we're not in last. See if we can catch him. We got, you know, we got five laps here. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. We got one car right there. Hope we can pick him off. Car definitely handles different than other cars I've been racing in these games. Definitely easier to lose control of. Which is a good thing. You know, now, now you got to really focus on your driving. You can't, you can't just floor it in these turns and have, you know, good grip, good control. So let's not, let's not ruin this one here. I think we can, I think we can catch, I think we can catch some cars here. One thing that, that, that I will say is, is a negative in this game is you can't wreck cars like, you know, you can in other games. I, I, you know, you can crash and things like that, but the cars don't actually wreck and and where your car is done i haven't seen cars like flip or anything like that man we're racing i know we're racing horrible oh. Let's see if we can catch some guys here Let's see if we can catch some guys here um so yeah the wreck the wrecking in the game is definitely i wish i i wish i knew the track it would definitely be helpful Oh, we did it again. We did it again. Is that the same turn? This on this online setup here in GT7, I'm actually pretty excited for. Even though we're doing we're doing really bad. But that's that's okay. It's our first online race. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know the track. I didn't know the car. But I would I would love to see this game get updated to to 72 to 72 hertz and and no reprojection. And I think that would be such an improvement. Um, 72 hertz in VR can feel super smooth. And I think it would actually, the, the picture would actually improve by getting rid of that reprojection. But this is really cool. It's really cool. I really wish I was able to hang with, with the rest of these cars. Nine out of 10. It looks like some, some guys have just dropped out of the race. I guess, I guess if things aren't going their way, they just, they just drop. We're not, we're not going to drop. We're going to make it, we're going to make it to the end. Car is fun to drive. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited that we can test out a lot of different cars in these races that, that we don't have to we don't have to own or win. So this should be it right here. So we finished ninth out of twelfth. We didn't we didn't come in last, which is a good thing. We didn't we didn't really drive too good though. Um, we had we we kept we kept losing it on that same turn. But that's okay. That was a fun race. I'm glad to see we we got we got what was it 12 12 cars in the race. I didn't know if it was gonna get, like filled up with with AI races or or if we're gonna get a full you know 12 12 cars. I don't remember if it said like 12 was the max. I don't remember what the max was in the race. But 12 is pretty good. 12 real cars are good. Um, yeah, that was that was fun. That was fun. I wish I would have been able to hang in the race a little bit better. But this is more about just trying it out for the first time. Leave me a comment below, guys, with the you know the multiplayer online how that actually works what the races are like there i think this is where you know it's really going to be at i think there is a little more fun and if you everyone drives different cars it's not really kind of a fair race where here you're kind of matched up better and you know th this is where it's at with your scoring and your ratings and everything so i want to show you guys the online play um for those who don't know you know if they might be on the fence about picking up gt7 just some extra stuff to check out with the online and um i'm excited i'm excited guys um lots more content coming your way with with gt7 and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thumb up the video. Subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.